Hi, my name is Matt Carroll with World Class Coaching. And with the help of Academy Soccer Coach, I'd like to talk to you about a session uh, involved with finding shots off through balls. Uh, sometimes I have teams that are really great finding the space, um, getting through balls, finding options, and but then really it comes down to we just can't get the finishes off these particular types of shots. Um, so this session will be designed around, you know, um, creating the, as many opportunities, unique opportunities um, as we can to try to find opportunities to finish those uh, through balls. Um, so what I would start with here is um, everyone's, you know, against air, we'd have a goalie in, um, obviously just to kind of give them a realistic look. But uh, what I like to call it like um, a, almost like a W drill type shooting session here. But instead of um, doing some of the other things I would normally do, these are all going to be specifically geared around um, finding stuff off the through ball. So the first rotation here, we get a pass, okay, um, coming across. So this one is just to get the idea of striking the ball clean, less um, of a through ball, more of a, um, a diagonal pass back. Uh, but again, we can get see opportunities here where we get a diagonal a, a ball through, get to the end line and play a diagonal, uh, diagonal ball back. So it's still relevant. We get a shot off here. This player would then go to the end of the line over here. This player would then move to this cone. The next shot over here would be a touch pass through to about the PK spot. Goalie would come out. And then this player would then try to finish 1v1 with the keeper. He could do that too. Try to find 1v1 with the keeper. Now the goalie will have to come out. The third pass will then be a ball that is thrown over the head of this player. So it's going to create a half volley chance where this player will then yell out the direction of the ball. Ball off the half volley. This player comes up, tries to find the area where the goalie is out. So we can either chip, try find a low driven pass to the near post, find back post, wherever the goalie then um, comes to. So it's working on that timing of, okay, there's a goal opening, the ball's bouncing. Can we get a clean finish off of this and find a way to score? So we'd go through a couple of rotations of that. Maybe we have a team behind the goal shagging uh, the balls, uh, and then they switch. We can make it a little competitive, how many goals and how many minutes. Um, you can get creative with that. The next stage would be trying to get them to find the through balls and try to create uh, game-like experiences. So I'd probably have one or two players up here outside of this grid I've created here. And then let's say I'll have four players in the grid with four defenders. Now, a good way to kind of start this, just to get the idea of making runs, finding space, and losing your mark, would be I would have this player outside here holding the ball. And what I would do is that in, within this grid, have these players moving diagonally, trying to find space. And I would have them um, looking for a chess pass from this player. So this player here runs across the face of this player. Um, instead of just running forward, they make this, this looping run inside towards the space. He throws him the ball. And this player then runs out of the grid just to get that dynamic idea of, of making your, your looping runs, curved runs to find space. That's an optional addition you're going to have to this session. Once we've got this clean, um, it's all set up. What I would do is I would just have the goalie keep stay in, and I would split. You can do this with cones, however you want to do it. You can just use a PK spot if you have a more clearly defined field. And split into two zones, and I'd put two more defenders in here representing the center backs maybe a stopper sweeper of some teams play, you play, play that way. Um, and I would have this player have the ability to move anywhere they want outside the grid. And then what we have inside the grid is all these players making runs, uh, making diagonal runs, um, trying to lose their marks. This player represents maybe a center mid, an eight or a six, um, that's going to try to find space to play a good through ball that's going to be not too far because it will come into the center backs, you know, uh, a, a decent pass, so it gets past this line, breaks the line, and lets the player run onto the ball. Um, that is going to set up a shot. So let's say this player here 
is able to create separation from this player. The ball is played in. Once the ball crosses through, we can get this ball out. Um, get these cones out as well. Once the ball passes the grid, this player then can leave the grid. They can't just run out of the grid. The ball has to be played to them and through the grid. So what we're trying to do is play that in between space. Center back is obviously going to come out. Touch. Shot. And ran right into the goal. Touch. Shot. This player, you can play this ball back. This player is then out. So what we see here now is an increased difficulty where we're going 3v4. And you continue this until you have one player left in the grid going up against all the defenders, trying to find a maybe a diagonal run here, played out wide, able to cut 1v1 against this defender and get out of there. So this is going to be pretty exhausting for this last player. Um, so it's kind of a, hey, score early, find things, be creative, because if not, you're going to be the last guy in this grid going 1v4, and it's going to be pretty difficult. Then we can switch out the, the, um, the center mid here. We can flip-flop with the defend this defensive team coming in and switching however you want to do it. And then the final thing I would do, a little bit of a fun activity at the end that's going to really challenge your players to find quick shots in traffic is I would pair them up um, one, two, three. So the ones would be outside the grid. The twos would be the defenders. So we got four defenders in here. We can remove all these cones. So we've picked up all the cones. There really is just the, the game lines. We have four offensive players outside the grid. And then for every player that's inside the grid, a defender on them. This guy's off. And we're setting it up so it's every player outside the grid, the 18, is paired up with a player inside. So this player's played with this player, 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 this player. And every player in there has a uh, defender marking them. Every player on the outside has a ball. So what we're trying to do is within the 18, these players are looking to lose their marks. These players are allowed to move wherever they want. You can even allow them to move behind the goal. So you're looking for a diagonal ball back in. They're moving around. They're trying to create space. These guys are moving and adjusting. They're trying to get a touch. So you see here, this player can play in. Finds a good opening, bang, one touch. Uh, so you're seeing a really chaotic scramble within the box. You're seeing a lot of movement. Both in that movement, you have your players trying to um, make runs to space and get quick, uh, quick fire shots off within the traffic. Um, so just again, trying to create opportunities where you have players' eyes moving, they're 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 making runs, um, looking for space, and getting quick finishes, just like they would if they were receiving a through ball with a keeper closing down. Uh, with defenders rushing on them and making them a little more comfortable finishing under that types of pressure. Um, so again, with world-class coaching and the help of Academy Soccer Coach, this is a session I created for finding shots on through balls.